Uh, are you guys ready for the lightning round? I no, feel, I feel good. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I feel sure. fresh. I feel. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the lightning round. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, screenwriters Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely uh, about certain characters or ideas from the Captain America universe. We realize you can't tell us if you're planning mm. on using them, but you can tell us what you think of them, if you think there's a place for them in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. I think they're just, let's never, ever touch that character. <laughs> just curious about your first impressions as writers. Okay, yeah. so it's a Rorschach mm. test. Yeah. Sort of a Rorschach right. test. All right, fine. Let's start off with an easy one. U.S. Agent. I don't... Uh, there's so many iterations you'd have to go to to get to him. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I'm going to go no. Okay, no. No U.S. Agent. Uh, Baron Blood, the Nazi vampire. Well, you know, his, place in my heart. <laughs> his brother was one of the Howling Commandos in the first movie. Right. Really? Fallsworth. Fallsworth. Yeah. Wow. Um, so Fallsworth becomes uh, the first Union Jack. I think that's right. And uh, his brother's Baron Blood. Whether we're going to go there, I... Uh, what, what, about, what about Union Jack? Is there any room for him? There's always room for Union Jack. I, like I love him. Union Jack I like so him. much. Yeah. He's got the coolest costume. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. All right, uh, let's talk about uh, Isaiah Bradley, the first character. Uh, it's a cool story. <laughs> yeah. It's a I cool would, story. I don't know. The only <laughs> thing about it is it makes... Actually, no, they... they I was going to say it makes Erskine look bad, but they went back to calling him Reinstein, Reinstein for that, for that so that you one. can make the difference. Yeah. Hmm. So um, he's the, it's basically it's a great the, the Tuskegee Airmen. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's but a, might throw a pall over the... Oh, yeah. it's although dark. It's, although <laughs> the, the irony is that in order to fight the Nazis, we created the ultimate Aryan idea. It is so ironic. It's kind of... Yeah. We can't, it's hard to escape. Uh, Jack Flagg. Red, red, and blue hair, right, boombox bazooka. Right. You think more I, costumed flag people I is the way think, to go. Yeah, I, a I whole think, flag team up. Right? Yeah. Well, like maybe Captain America is out of town and we have to find a new one. Sure, because, you know? right. Mm -hmm. Everyone's, it's, uh, it's America. It's, Spirit it's of 76. Idol. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's, talk, let's talk about some villains. Uh, mm. What about Madam Hydra? Or is Hydra gone now? I, I would love to step away from Hydra for a little while just because it seems like there's one bad guy. And mm. now that we've, now that we've pulled the rug off and said, look, Hydra's hiding there for people to be surprised in a third Oh, my God, it's Hydra. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no kidding. That said, you know, one day there's going to be, not only are they going to do a, super, a female superhero, mm -hmm. but damn it, they should do a female supervillain. Right. And I just don't know when that day is coming, but, but yeah. it's yeah. on the table. All right. Uh, uh, MODOK, the mobile organism well, designed only for... Well, came to the right guy. I love MODOK. <laughs> MODOK is I, awesome. I love MODOK, and I find MODOK terrifying. Everyone goes, that would look so silly. I'm like, terrifying. It's a <laughs> giant head with tiny little arms and legs. Freak me out, man. Uh, whether or not it fits into the you know more realistic <laughs> path we've gone down, I don't know. But I would I would kill for Modoc. Uh, what, what about Modam? Would you would you want to give him a love interest in the middle of the oh, movie? Modam. That would be right. beautiful. <laughs> just two big heads <laughs> right. making out. Yeah. Just leave you people alone. I'd love those questions. Like, uh, what about what about sidekicks? What about Nomad? Would there be or is Sam Wilson filling that role? Uh, well, Sam's not quite a side right. right, but he's a partner, but, so does he right. need a sidekick? I think he's got so many friends now, you know. He has too many friends. There's a threat of overpopulation <laughs> you in these do movies. Something about That's it. right. It's like, get rid of some Get friends. out the mystery machine and we can all go solve crime. Uh, what about the Red Skull? Do you think you'd ever want to, like, try to find a way to come back to him, or...? It would be epic. Right. It, yeah. It would be cosmic, however. And right. kind there's of so thing. much cosmic going on now with Guardians of the Galaxy and, and Thor that whether we want to take him into that realm or we want to we want to stake our claim over here in reality for a little while, um, because you know clearly he blipped out into cosmic cube land somewhere. Right, but that could be anything though. Maybe he just like went back or forward in time mm -hmm. or something. You you could you maybe could got his face back. Right. Exactly. Well, I mean, he's, he's his greatest villain, right? Yeah. So. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. What about what about his daughter Sin? It was the hot, hot You'd have to do sin. more work with him in order to get yeah. to Fair create enough. a sin. She w yeah. uh, well, but she's even scarier when they burnt off her face. Yeah, it's true that. Really uh, true that.